Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. We finally made it to the Goodwill bins. I have seen these Goodwill stores online with a number of crafters and didn't realize we have one about 25 minutes from here. So today was a beautiful day, 50 degrees in New Hampshire in December, very rare. So my husband and I headed out and checked out what it looks like. This is the back room where they seem to have conveyor belts and boxes and just bunches of stuff and a ton of people that have to wait until they load them up and bring them out and then once they do that it's a free-for-all and it is a nut house make sure you stay till the end i'll tell you the total and some amazing things that i found they had a box of these beautiful glass ornaments that i passed up because i don't need them and don't know anyone who does i know they're hard to ship also this beautiful blue glass vase that I thought would be lovely. Um, I know a lot of people collect the woven paper plate holders to hang on the wall. I am not a fan of that look at all, so I passed that up. I had this myself back in the day when I was probably first married. Passed that up. <laughs> Adorable angel. Wish it didn't have an, a candle holder on the back. I would have gotten that. Um, here's just a bunch of glass. Glass is 30 cents a pound, so it's well worth it. Adorable teddy bear that, again, I do not need and passed up. Um, so I'm showing you most of the stuff I passed up first, and then I'll show you what I got. Um, I didn't want to videotape too much because it was so many people. Um, here's one of those uh, lamps that look like cement. A very pretty uh, throw, not my colors, but I passed all that up. And here are the things I actually did get. This little black wooden sign I can paint over. This book was $10. I got it for probably 10 cents. A very unique face made out of leather. I may paint and distress. That looks cool. I don't know. It's interesting. And this Trader Joe's bag, I can't find any information on. It feels like seal skin. I think it's a waxed recyclable material. If you know anything about it, let me know. Did not intend to get clothing, but I thought this little top was adorable and found a um, yard and a half of pinstripe fabric, probably, a, you know, 25 cents at the end of the day. So that was worth it. Got this gorgeous jacket, brand new for my daughter. Uh, hopefully she likes it. Originally came from Old Navy and a little skirt that I can wear in the summer and um, then this beautiful like double hanky. I have never seen it. It's, uh, it's hand sewn and it's like two hankies sewn together. I don't know, it's interesting, but pick that up since it basically costs nothing. Got some books and some toys for the baby um, once those get washed. And then, oh, I love this. I've been wanting um, music. This one's falling apart, which is fine by me because I'm going to use it anyways. Uh, just the pieces and parts of that for like decoupage. But the antiquing on this um, book is gorgeous. Really liked this long garland with the pine cones and the red berries. Love this snap-on Tupperware, so I figured I'd run that through the dishwasher. <laughs> um, a frame with a double mat. Can always use that, especially since I'm doing pictures in my bedroom. A couple of wooden pieces just, you know, to flip or use for, you know, decor items. Another frame, which was very small and thin and tall, kind of a cute size. I can use that. Two of these brand new office caddies that have the fabric that go great in my craft room. A pool for the baby, which I do believe was $2.40, so I'm going to have to buy one anyway in the summer. And then here are my favorite finds. Look at that cloche. I cannot believe I paid $0.90 cents for this cloche. Went home, checked it out. It is right now on Amazon for $50. Dollars. The total amount that I spent today was 28 on everything. Now, I am a collector of these marmalade jars. My other amazing find was this marmalade jar, which has no markings except made in England on the bottom. And being that it is plain, I looked that up and it is worth $48 right now online so i am going to sell that i believe to make back my money 
And then my husband got these at the dump yesterday. Set of seven beautiful ang angels by Gobel Sack S A C R Art. And I did a little bit of research to find out they are worth ten to twelve dollars each. So I'm going to put them and the marmalade pot on eBay and see what happens. Let me know if this is something that you enjoy and I will do more of these. And let me know if you had a favorite. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next one. Take care.